Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and today I'm going to do a video I've been planning to do for a little while. I have something of an obsession with silver holographic toppers, apparently. Uh, this, this here is uh, my collection, pretty much. Uh, they are all toppers. Although some could probably be built up to be uh, full coverage. Um, and they all are silver. And they all have holographic in them. Some of them have a few other bits and pieces in them as well. But basically, they're all silver holographic toppers. So, I thought I would swatch them all. Um, I have taken a swatchy wheel and painted it black. Um, just so that it's easier and you can actually see them. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll start with the ones that are kind of a little bit hit and miss. I mean, they're silver holographic toppers, but they're not necessarily, um, they're not like fine holographic. They just have holographic in them. Um, I've got one here that doesn't want to shake up at the moment. I'm just going to stick it upside down. Um, as usual, I forgot to shake bottles. Give me a second. Okay. So the first one I'm going to look at is this one from OPI. Can you see the rainbow? Um, this one is Snow You Love Me, and they're basically just uh, round glitters, like round holographic glitters. Ooh, can't get the lid off. It is a little uh, difficult to get the circly things out. But nevertheless, I will just dab them in. Um, it is kind of base heavy. You probably have more luck if you, um, like, I don't know, sponged it instead, because it does get a bit goopy, as you can see. It gets a bit goopy on the nail. But they do sit down nice and flat on the nail. So that is Snow You Love Me. So, you know, if you just wanted a little bit of holographic, or if you wanted to go to all the trouble of picking them out and dabbing them on the nails, you could do that too. So next is another one which is kind of similar to that, and it's also from OPI, except this is Nicole by OPI. So it's from the Carrie Underwood collection, and this one is called Party Bus, and it has um, flowers as well as hexes and of different sizes. This is another one that doesn't necessarily come out very easily. Can't even get the lid out of the bottle. Especially the flowers. I'll attempt to fish out a flower. on polish behave yourself. You know you want to. Does anybody else talk to their polish? Or is that just a weird thing that I do? Okay. We might uh, <laughs> oh dear. Well look there we go. Oh no I dropped it. Nope, there it is. Just because I want you to see them. And then it does not want to come off. There we go. Just so you can see all the different goodies that are actually in that particular topper. I mean, it looks quite good without the flower. I like all the different sizes in it. But that is Party Bus from Nicole by OPI. Mmm, pretty. The 
next two are kind of a little bit different. They have other stuff in them other than the holographic, but they still have holographic in them. In fact, they both have holographic shards in them. So this one is from Face of Australia, obviously an Australian brand. This is from their iconic range, and this is called Glitz and Glam. You could maybe get that full coverage, but it would be an absolute bitch to get it back off again. <laughs> and definitely a soak job or a peel off base coat job. Because um, <laughs> it's just got so much going on. But you can see these little uh, holographic shards in it. So lots of other stuff, but these really cool holographic shards in it and the other one which has basically a similar kind of thing except it's got black in it which you won't be able to see obviously over black this is from Sally Hansen's Colour Frenzy this one is Spark and Pepper I have a couple of them from this line in a couple of different colourways because I quite like these So what you can't see is that if you do this over a, uh, not a white and not a black, you can see there's actually black and white little tiny hexes. And then you have these holographic shards in there as well. It's a really interesting topper. Me likey. I mean, just look at that. It's pretty, that is. Uh, so, now we're going to look at two that are... They're holographic. Definitely toppers. Um, but they're... Um, actual, the size of their pieces is quite large. Uh, so, this one is from Academy of Colour, which is basically a very cost-effective uh, Australian brand that you can get at Kmart, um, usually in little sets for like nail art, like nail art things in. They are a little bit stunker, but they're actually quite nice polishes. And like, I mean, if you had like a, a daughter or you just wanted to try some nail art for a special occasion, um, the little kits are usually like three or four dollars and you usually get one or two nail polishes um, and decorations to put on the nail. So that one is Half Moon from Academy of Colour. And the other one is from Maybelline Color Show. And this is called Glitterate. And as you can see, I got it on sale, which four dollars probably doesn't seem cheap if you're in America, but in Australia, that was on sale. So this one has actually got another one that if you really wanted to put like three coats on, you could get this opaque. Because it has a lot of little tiny, tiny glitters in it. As well as the slightly bit bigger ones. It's actually quite a dense glitter. It's so pretty. <sighs> I do love me some holographic. Now, all of the rest of them... Um, uh, sort of various levels of micro um, 
holographic toppers. Various levels. So I actually have three here from BYS, which is an Australian brand, as I've said before. This one is slightly off silver, but it is still kind of silver. So we'll start with that one. This one is Diamond Glitter Crystal, which is, you know, not exactly the most um, creative name, but whatever. I don't care. I have worn this um, on its own. Two coats is pretty much enough to build this up because it's pretty blooming dense. But, oh, God, that is so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Well, maybe you can't tell like I can, but wow. And then, um, this one is kind of similar. But it has some little, slightly bigger ones in it. This one is called Starlet. Again, pretty dense. If you really wanted to, you could probably build it up. To be opaque instead of just a topper or you could be a little bit more light-handed than I am and just use it as topper <laughs> I mean oh, that's a good and then the third one is this one here this is called cold as ice and I did a video a while ago about how this compares very favorably to holographic pearls uh, Prisma Gloss Silver from Orly and Fairy Dust, which I will get to. I have all of them sitting here. Um, yeah, so this is Cold as Ice, which as you can see, I've used a fair bit of, because me love this polish. <gasps> Just knock the bottle open. No polish was harmed in the filming of this video. Look at that. So, so gorgeous. But as you can see, I seem to have a lot of very similar polishes. And it's funny, every time I see like a new silver to hollow topper, I have to kind of buy it because it's like i got to compare it to all the other ones I've got. I'm a little weird like that. So the next one is the Picture Polish Hollow on Top, which is supposed to be a top coat, but you, as you will see, um, I generally wear this on its own, simply because it is uh, super duper dense. That's not really a topper. <laughs> it's just a little bit too dense to really be called a topper. Um, you can easily get it opaque on its own. And it's almost opaque in one coat. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's not gorgeous, because it is. It's just, even though it's supposed to be a top coat. Uh, yeah. Not so sure about that. Uh, then we have from B Nails. This is the supplier that I get most of my acrylics from. Um, this one is 802. Really exciting name on this one. They don't actually name 90% of their polishes. Uh, only special edition polishes seem to get a name. Uh, this one did not get one. But it is comparable, uh, and considering this polish is oh, four dollars, I think a bottle, three ninety five, I think I pay. Um, yeah. 
So I just got distracted looking at it in the bottom because it was almost looking linear in the bottom. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's that one there. Seriously, this is just like heaven to me, just looking at all of these. <laughs> the next one is from Morgan Taylor. This is a fame game. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Dodger, I'm obsessed with them. I have so many of them. Literally, there are 15 of them in this video. Or 16. 16. So this is a fame game from Morgan Taylor. Another one that you could get opaque on its own. Of course, the removal is not exactly the easiest process in the world. But if you have that on your nails, I don't think you'd really care too much. I know I wouldn't. I don't actually mind if it takes me forever to take nail polish off. Okay, stop doing it. Alright, the next one is from Butter London. And this is called Fairy Cake. Yeah, no similarities in name there, anybody. I'm not trying to pretend that we're something else, are we? Oh dear. Okay, so this is Fairy Cake. And it's pretty dense. Another one that could quite easily be built up to wear on its own, not as necessarily a topper. Um, but still, super duper gorgeous. And then we have here, oh, this is Prisma Gloss Silver. This was the first polish that I realised was super duper similar to Fairy Dust. Like, super similar to fairy dust. So, this one is Prisma Gloss Silver from Orly. Now, that is a holographic top coat. Not too dense, not too sparse. Just right. It is gorgeous. It's actually one of my favourite top coats. Um, which, you know, I've used a reasonable amount of it. Considering how many I have of them. And then, we have Holographic Pearls from Revlon. Which, frankly, is one of the best holographic top coats, in my opinion, on the market. So this one is Holographic Pearls, it's slightly more dense than Prisma Gloss Silver, just slightly, but you can see why Simply Nail Logical uh, uses it so much these days, because it's, it's beautiful, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, and last, but by no means least, um, However, you'll see why this is not as uh, brilliant as some people might think it is. This is Fairy Dust from China Glaze. As you can see, I have used almost half the bottle. So, clearly, I like it and I've used it. But I always find I have to put on two coats because I don't get enough payoff from one coat. And that's just my personal feeling. Now. So, this is Fairy Dust. So, as you can see, of all of the ones that I have shown you, this is the sparsest of them all. 
Um, so if you're really trying to like get a, other than these ones over here, clearly. Um, of the micro ones, it's the one with the least amount. So if you just want a little touch, it's it's great for that. If you want a little bit more though, that's all all of those like mm, hollow so that is my silver holographic nail polish collection oh 16 of them I am, and you know, 12 of those are just pretty much, <laughs> well, 10 of them to be precise are just uh, micro, pretty much micro holographic. So, there you go, guys. You can see that I am obsessed with silver holographic toppers, and every time I see a new one, I end up buying it because I want to compare it to all the other ones I've got. It's almost like I'm trying to find the perfect holographic top coat, um, which to my mind is either the Revlon uh, holographic pearls or the Prisma Gloss Silver from Orly for toppers. If you want full coverage, hollow on top, from picture polish so that is it for this whoops video guys if you want to subscribe click the button down there leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish chart videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya